that I'm gonna do is apply some concealer to my eyelids. I'm gonna use a concealer that is just about my skin tone. So I'm using the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Espresso. I'm just gonna apply that all over the lid with my finger. And then I'm gonna apply some setting powder on top of it just to set the concealer in place. This is a good base for your eyeshadows to allow your eyeshadows to last all day. They'll blend easy and the pigment should show very well. So for this fall look today, I'm going to be using my More 35C palette. You guys have seen this palette a lot during these fall tutorials. And I'm going to take these two colors here as my transition color. I'm going to blend that in the crease with my Sephora Rounded Crease Brush. And I'm going to blend in back and forth sweeping motions. Going back to the 35C palette, I'm actually going to lay my lid color next, which is going to be this color. I'm thinking about blending it with these two colors together. This is going to be all over the lid and I'm just going to use a regular eyeshadow brush. I'm going to pack that on so that the color is really, really pigmented. And then after that, I'm going to start blending it out. So I'm going to go in right next to the cranberry color with this deep Merlot type of color here. I'm going to put this in the crease and I'm going to blend it with my Sephora E45, the small tapered blending brush. I'm going to focus the color mainly on the outer corner of the eye and a little bit in the crease. As you can tell, these colors have a little bit more fallout. That's the reason why I'm doing my foundation at the end and not doing it at first. These particular colors have fallout because they're really, really pigmented and they're not like neutrals. So I'm gonna go back and pack on some more color. I'm gonna keep this look very simple. I don't want it to have too many transition colors. So moving on to foundation, I'm gonna be using my MAC Studio Fix Fluid in NW48. Y'all know that's my favorite foundation. I love this stuff. So I'm just gonna blend my foundation out with my Beauty Blender sponge as normal. For the first concealer that I'm going to lay down, I'm going to go in my Pro Con my MAC Pro Conceal and Correct Palette in Dark. And I'm going to take this shade here, which is NW45. It is really close to my natural skin color. So I'm going to dab this underneath the eye with my finger. And I am just going to blend it out with my Beauty Blender sponge. This allows my eyes to look really, really awake and open. So I love to apply a skin tone concealer before I apply my highlight concealer. For my highlighting concealer, I'm gonna keep it pretty natural. So I'm gonna use my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Amande. This one is not too many shades lighter than my skin tone. I would say like one to two shades lighter than my skin tone. So I'm gonna be applying this in the areas that I normally highlight, which is underneath my eyes, down the bridge of my nose, a little bit on my forehead, my chin, and around my mouth. So now I'm going to go ahead and set that concealer in place with my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. I'm going to put that on top of the areas that I highlighted. So same areas that I highlighted, I'm going to go ahead and apply my Laura Mercier Setting Powder. I'm going to go ahead and start contouring. So I'm going to use my Black Radiance Press Powder in Ebony. I use this every single time I contour. So just with a regular contouring brush, I am going to contour underneath my cheekbones, the sides of my nose, just to define my nose a little bit, my chin, and my forehead. Now it's time to just dust away this Laura Mercier Setting Powder. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my eyes by sweeping that Merlot color that I used in the crease underneath my eye to smoke it out just a little bit. To keep my eye from looking too uniform, I'm going to pop a little brown shimmer. It's gonna be like a golden brown, if that makes sense. <laughs> yes, that really gives it a fall look. Love this. 
I'm gonna add some black liner to my waterline. Instead of using my liquid liner today, I think I wanna use a dark purple and smoke that out a little bit. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go in my Morph 35W palette, just so y'all can see my Morph 35W palette. And I'm gonna be using this dark purple here and I am going to draw a liner with this, kind of smoke it out a little bit. And I'm gonna be using my Morphe um, M443 brush. So for blush today, I'm gonna be digging in my Berry Cheek Palette by Bobbi Brown. I believe it's limited edition. I'm gonna take this color all the way on the far end and I'm gonna apply that to my cheeks for blush. It's very, very pretty. I love this color. I'm also going to take the highlight in this palette as well and I am going to highlight my nose, my cheeks, and a little bit above my lip. Sorry about the lighting guys, but the sun is setting so all my natural light is gone so I have to use my ring light now. But in the spirit of fall, I am going to be using MAC Rebel Lipstick and I'm just going to apply that. And I'm lining with MAC Night Moth Lip Liner. 